Hi everyone and welcome to the latest vlog here from here at Cumberland Academy. So it's Friday afternoon, um, still some young people in the building doing some really interesting things, but mainly everyone has gone home. So Monday, if you didn't know, is an in-service day for the teachers. So we're at work, um, but the students are not, so they'll be at home. Um, so we're looking forward to welcoming everyone back on Tuesday morning uh, at 5 to 9. The fourth year reports uh, were issued today, so if you're a parent of a fourth year pupil, you should be able to access um, their report. And if you're a parent of a third year pupil, those reports will be available from next week, so we'll get them out to you next week. Um, so hopefully that's communication by way of reports for all the year groups. Um, started for this session. Uh, on the 28th of November we have the Freeland Diet, so that starts with English and that day is also the day of the Christmas market so we're looking forward to welcoming as many people from local community into the school that evening. We've got the choirs from all of the local primaries now performing um, at the Christmas market so it'll be great to see Lots of people are along um, in aid of the school funds, so um, hopefully you can all turn up for that. You will have heard, I hope, um, about the arrangements that we've made to try and improve the facilities for young people in terms of toilets here. Now we have plenty of toilets in the school. Uh, some of them were being used inappropriately, the single-use ones. And as a result of a consultation with young people, the janitors, the cleaners and the staff, we made the decision to close those toilets and to make sure that all young people could access the main toilets uh, during class time. And that additional supervision and cleaning would go into those toilets at break time and at lunch time. And I'm pleased to say, you know, at the end of the first week that the feedback I've had from young people is that those toilets are much cleaner, they're much safer, there are fewer people hanging around in there and there's no nobody should be eating their lunch and there shouldn't be any nonsense going on in the toilets. So this is an attempt to make the toilets more accessible to all young people and to ensure that the toilets are much better looked after. So we'll keep you posted with that. Clearly anyone who has a medical condition will be issued with a toilet pass and no young person will be denied, denied the right to use the toilets. However, I do need to tell you that on Thursday, I've still to count it for today, we had 367 visits to the toilet in the school. 367, which I think is somewhat incredible. So we really need to try and cut down the number of visits to the toilet. I think, you know, towards the end of a period and just after the start or after a break or a lunch time. So we're going to continue to support young people to use the toilets at social times and I would appreciate your support with that. But let's be very clear, if anyone needs the toilet, they will get to use the toilet. And we've just got a testing going on in the background here from Fez, so hopefully that won't be too loud and spoil this absolutely fantastic world. Thank you for your continued support and we'll keep you posted with any developments. Have a lovely weekend. Take care.